Hello, Realtors. This is your Friday Five update from the state capitol. We just finished week one of a three-week time frame for bills to pass committee in the opposite chamber. Three OAR support bills passed through committee this past week, and then we're going to take a look at what uh, looks positive for next week as we continue. So first up is Senate Bill 1763, and this is our unfair trade practices bill. Um, Will Roberts on the line with us as well. Can you give us an update on SB 1763, please? Sure. Senate Bill 1763 is a Senator Bill Coleman and Representative Steve Bayshore bill. Uh, as Bryson said, this is a bill to restrict unfair service agreements. Uh, where that comes in, it, 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 there are a multitude of things that this can apply to, but specifically for realtors, it would be those 40-year listing agreements that everyone's seen from those outside groups coming in. Uh, it's going to ban those, essentially. Uh, there was a bit of a uh, an issue with the bill at first um, because our bill wants to put a one-year limit on those agreements, uh, but uh, Chairman Kennedy uh, of the Judiciary uh, Committee wanted to put something in that prevented those, those agreements from being what they call evergreen or auto-renewing. Um, so they're going to put a provision in there um, before it passes House Judiciary um, and then goes back over uh, to pass the House floor. So again, that bill started in the Senate as a Senate bill went through. They're going to have to add that amendment uh, on the House side, and then it will go back through the House floor and then the Senate again. Very good. So, yeah, we are on a good track there, I guess. Um, and we'll see that amendment, I guess, hit the floor um, instead of committee because we passed committee. So, yeah. And I also just uh, as an aside, I also want to give a shout out to AARP. Um, AARP really helped us um, in lobbying that bill. It's something that's important to them. As, as many of you know, they're uh, some of these folks that have been taken advantage of by these 40 year listing agreements are seniors. Um, and so we really appreciate AARP for uh, for helping us out and carrying the water on that bill with us. Very good. Thank you, Will. So another one of our OAR support bills was H or is HB 2955. And this is a bill that came up. I don't think we were tracking earlier this year, but it deals with the sunset provision for the Oklahoma Real Estate Commission. What do you have on that? Yeah, HB 2955 uh, already passed the House, obviously. Uh, it is a representative uh, Jared Kendricks and Senator Michael Bergstrom bill. Uh, Senator Bergstrom took that bill through Senate administrative rules on Wednesday. Uh, as I said, it already cleared the House, so we're, we're done with one. Uh, it now goes to the Senate floor. Basically, as Bryson said, what that does, uh, it lifts the sunset provision that has been um, in place for the Real Estate Commission for many years. What they would have to do is every five years vote to continue the mandate of the Real Estate Commission. And what this bill does, among other bills that do the same thing for other entities, is remove that sunset provision. Um, so that the the real estate commission kind of just remains evergreen all the time. Another evergreen provision. Yes, very good. No, and I think that's positive for our industry for sure. And what we've seen the past few weeks on the federal or national scale um, for the industry. And so anything we can do to help strengthen our position as an association and also with the Real Estate Commission um, is very positive. So good to see that one. So a third piece of legislation, support legislation we saw go through was HB 4018-4018. And this revises, I would say, the affordable housing tax credit that's been in place in our state um, previously here. But what are the updates we're looking at for this bill, Will? Yeah, so... 4018, the affordable housing tax credits, you would give an allocate, there's an allocation period for those tax credits. So if there's $4 million available every year, then in most cases, um, or previously in all cases, you would get that $4 million. And if that $4 million worth of tax credits isn't used, then it just goes away, right? So what this is going to do is it's going to allow them to reuse those unused tax credits to apply against the original allocation year, as opposed to the year that it's in now. So let's say that you had the 2019, you had some tax credits that were left over. You could then use those and it only counts against the 2019 year as opposed to the year in which it's being used. So if we're using that in 2024, it counts against 2019 and you can still use the 2024 tax credits that you had before. Hopefully that's very makes good. Sense. Yes. Again, sir. the $4 million is just available for everybody. Once that $4 million dries up, it's done. It's not a $4 million per, it's a $4 million for all. And I would also, what this bill is trying to fix is if we didn't use up that $4 million in any year, 
maybe that money essentially just goes back to Washington or back back to get reallocated somewhere else in the country. And so being able to capture those dollars, I think, is what uh, what the uh, intent here is, among some other things. Right. Um, so very good. Well, now those are three bills we saw pass. We also saw a bill this this last week that brought up an old topic that has been still a new topic um, this year, but I should say year two of foreign land ownership. Last year, we did see a bill that we worked pretty heavily in and on with lawmakers and also industry partners. This bill this year aims to sort of clean up some of the unforeseen consequences of that bill, but primarily for our land title folks, some um, deed and title work that that, that bill affected that we needed to sure up. Um, and then we've seen a few things, but this bill has been the one that's been the conduit or the main avenue that lawmakers are taking to really tackle a federal, I don't know if it's a citizenship or immigration issue, but that federal issue on our state side, I think there's a lot of pressure in the news media and federal politics being put on our state legislators here. And so they've tried to figure out a way that that they can help the state, protect the state, protect consumers in various ways and well warranted. Say all that to say, we still hit some snags here. It's a sensitive topic. So Tell us a little bit about SB 1705, which we will just call the Foreign Land Ownership Bill. Yeah, Senate Bill 1705. It's a Senator Brent Howard bill uh, who ran, ran it with Representative Anthony Moore. Um, as Bryson said, it's an alien uh, land ownership issue. Uh, we've worked with Senator Howard, Senator Brooks, Representative Moore. There are probably going to be other folks that we deal with before this is all said and done on this bill. Uh, we're trying to make sure that legally permanent residents are able to continue to purchase land. That's what this is all about. Um, this bill was set to go through House Ag this week, House the House Agriculture Committee, um, and it got taken off. We were uh, a little bit taken aback by that. Uh, we reached out to Representative Moore, the bill author, and asked him why. And he said they there are some business entity issues. They need to clarify some definitions as to who things apply to. Um, they're also trying to ensure that if a bank has a mortgage or a lien on a property, um, that that stays intact um, through that language and that and that the uh, the bank doesn't get any any bank that has an issue with it uh, doesn't get scared away um, by this bill. Very good. Well, we will keep tracking that for sure. I don't think we've seen the end of that. And I'm also afraid if that bill doesn't go, we might see something pop up uh, last minute as well. That can always happen. And so we'll continue tracking that issue for sure. So as we move into week two of our three-week timeline to go through committees of the opposite chamber, we are seeing what looks like on Wednesday, I believe, next week, SB 1920, Broker compensation disclosure is how I usually phrase that one. Tell us a little bit on that. Is it on Wednesday? We're in committee and where we're going after that. Yeah. Um, so as Bryson said, Senate Bill 1920 with Senator Rosino, another bill that we have with Representative Anthony Moore. Um, it's going to House Business and Commerce Wednesday, April 3rd. That's this coming Wednesday. Uh, you know, we we spoke pretty extensively with Representative McDougal, who's the chair of Business and Commerce, trying to figure out when this thing was going to go, because we know how important this bill is to all of you and to us. Um, it is going to go on Wednesday. It's on the agenda. Um, and that we've we've spoken already spoken to all of the representatives on BNC. So we expect it to fly through um, and get to the uh, get to the House floor pretty promptly. Uh, would not expect any changes whatsoever to this bill before it gets through committee. Uh, and again, as you all know, it's an, it's a relatively easy fix for a big problem that everyone's you know concerned about and wants to see get rectified. That's right. And we also see, I think, probably on this topic or general sort of set of legislation or this issue set with brokers and and compensation and everything that we're talking about the industry wide, we we will probably see this be the first of many sort of initiatives that I think our association or our membership wants to do next year. And so that'll be that'll be great to hopefully see pass next week and then and then pass this, the House floor um, and and then be signed in into law by the governor as a first step for sure. Well, thank you all for joining us today. That's all the time we have and all the updates, our fi Friday Five, that we wanted to give you guys. And so we will be back up there um, next week. All, as always, 
visit okrealtors.com forward slash bill tracker to see what bills we're tracking. And also, if you ever have anything that you need from us, reach out to Will or myself, Bryson, um, and we would be happy to get you in the right spot or uh, get you the right information you need. So without further ado, we will see you next week.